and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I have my friend Keith with me again. How are you doing, Keith? How's it going, Mark? And he's going to be riding the Aerial Rider Grizzly, his new bike. And I'm going to be riding the Lyric Graffiti right there. And on this video, we're going to be heading over to Cook Park on this cool late morning. So let's hop on our bikes and head for Cook Park. So Keith, how has the uh, Grizzly been treating you since you got it? It's been great. I'm taking it to work. I can get to work, uh, what, two, yeah, two days without charging it. So I get to get 20 miles on it. And even then, it still has plenty of battery. But I, I just don't want to risk it, you know? Yeah. Other than that, no, the bike's great. Yeah, you probably are going to get, if you're throttling, fairly hard you're probably going to get 30 maybe 35 miles I'd say about 25 miles an hour. yeah i usually figure you're going to use about one amp hour of battery uh per mile that's okay. that's usually how i judge it that's a good estimate. yeah so i would say anywhere from 30 to 35 miles same with me on the lyric graffiti that's what i should get I like somebody else I know that wants more. <laughs> I see your suspension's working a little bit there in the back. I see the... Uh, yeah, I have the front one. I see the absorption there. Lots of uh, debris in the bike lane here. I wish they would sweep these bike lane, uh, sweep them a little bit more often. It's hard to tell on the camera, but there is a lot of rocks and sticks and you name it in the uh, bike lane here.
One thing about wearing these winter gloves with the bike with the thumb throttle and the thumb brake for yeah. regen, sometimes my glove gets kind of caught in the oh, no. throttle, so you got to be careful. Yeah. It's one disadvantage to wear uh, to having a fingered gloves with the uh, thumb throttle. Twist throttle is okay, but you have to readjust your wrist every once in a while. It has such a long pull on it. Yeah. Like, so you'll get caught in this position. It gets uncomfortable real fast, you know. Oh, I wonder if this light's going to turn uh, green on. <laughs> I think after these cars, we'll just go. Yeah, we're not going to hurt anything right here. It's not triggering for us. Yeah. That's another problem to talk about. All right, let's go. skid there <laughs> I laid a little skid because I didn't I didn't have enough time to stop I know. the regen wasn't stopping quick enough so I had to lay on the I had to lay on the brakes there I, I kind of got a little panicky there going around that corner that guy started going right towards the bike lane I was like oh shoot is this guy gonna come in here I wanted to race him <laughs> but we didn't have quite enough juice I don't think no <laughs> all right no, you saw one guy with a bike on the back of his bike. Yeah, the other guy had a skateboard. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw Yeah, look at how quick this picks up when you pedal. Yeah. Woo! You gonna try that? What's that? Never mind. The little that trail there, that's that one that goes through, right? Yeah, it goes on the side of the river over there. Yeah. Here, let's take off from a start and go. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. Ghost pedaling.
All right, we made it to Cook Park. I had to do some navigating around those I people. Saw it. And <laughs> the thing is, the with the kids there, you never know where they're going to go, like the yeah, pets. Yeah, they'll dart right off. Yeah, the side. so you got to be really careful, but we made it. So thank you, Keith. We made it to Kick Cook Park. Kick Park? Cook Park. I wonder how many views you'll get for running over a kid. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm not going to attempt to do that. That's why you have to be really careful with the small kids, right? I'm surprised the one lady had her dog right off the leash there, but anyway. Yeah, she, there's a dog park over there that they can run around. But they should wait till they get to the park and because you don't know if the dog's going to oh, yeah. dart out or, you know. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much, Keith, right. for uh, making it over here to Cook Park. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button as we pan around a little bit here, Cook Park. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification that a new video is up. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. As we look one more time at the two beasts here. Yeah. Once again, thank you for joining Keith and I on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road.